Hey, 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 hey! Greetings and salutations to you people of the interwebs. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing, quick first impressions of this guy. This is Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Rodimus Prime. So this is the big commander class figure for the Kingdom part of the trilogy. It is, like I say, it's, it's Rodimus Prime. It's the guy. Uh, so we've got some images on the back. There he is, there's his car. There's his Winnebago, there's his um, base trailer, shooty gun thing, and there's some random accessories he comes with. Um, I wasn't going to get this at first. I was kind of putting off, um and ah in. It didn't really seem like what would we call a good value for money purchased. And since I'm not really, I'm a bit directionless in my collecting at the moment. It was just like, uh, I could miss this one. And then I started seeing reviews coming up by people like Kato's Collection, Border Dudes, 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 Border Dudes, and I was like, I want this figure. So I bought it. So I'm just going to do a quick unboxing. I've done all these instructions and everything, paperwork on the floor. And here is Rodimus Prime. And some extra bits of shit it comes with. Um, let's see. So, I know. No one really. Does anyone care about these? I've got an Optimus Prime Autobot sticker. I peel it off, and he's dead. I think we've had that one before. Um, rip. Uh, Optimus Prime. Let's see whose fault it was. Now, ancient news, guys. Ancient news. So, let's see. So, it comes with this big bag of crap here. Uh, and some twisty ties, our favourites. So, one, two, Three, four, let's go, and that's this released, and five, Six. Got that out. There's an elastic band around it yet. And seven. And this bit comes out. So all these um kind of this is separate from his truck mode at the moment. So we'll just have to piece that together. So that's a cannon on some of the tracks. That'd be a bit overweighted if it was on Robot Wars it'd topple all the time. In fact, it does. Um, then we've got the main event. Let's take the elastic bands off him. That's a big, big chunky car. Um, yeah. And this affair here so let's see how oh, people have had problems with this um, coming together Seems all right. Maybe it's when you try and put the um, this in there. Let's see, you've got uh, 
guess we just have to decide. Yeah, it says the knot comes as well together, and I've put that in, so maybe it's just a case of how I've pegged that in. Definitely not that way. <laughs> Even worse. Uh -huh. So slot there. It doesn't quite seem to go together as well as it is it does without it in there, but it's probably a case of moving it around. Uh, it's a big trailer. I like the decals here. I'm going to be very mindful checking for chipping on this. I believe uh, Zort Rider had some uh, on the chest of his guy. Um, uh, so far, so good. Um, yeah, so it's got a big solid car. You got this, and we can whack these together like so, and that gives us our full effect of this is our commander um, price point thing. So yeah, it's it's got quite a weight to it. Um, it's nowhere near. As impressive as, as Skylinks was, I never bought um, Jetfire, so can't compare him to him. But you know, as vehicles go, it's kind of it's Rodimus Prime, and I could see how they'd struggle, especially the modern leader price point. They would not be able to get as much weight and stuff going on to, into this trailer uh they would have had him as a leader class so they, you know he's a, a, a quite a small commander class yeah so that comes off that comes up here that goes there I've got a ramp there to clink into any other bases you may or may not have. Lots of accessories. I believe there's some yeah, some trays under here. And a little roof rack to storage up here as well if you want. So I think it's very clever they've got all these little bits of storage and stuff. Um, well, this is kind of the main guy that you want, isn't it? Um, all that's kind of just gravy, um, in my opinion. I, mean, I would have bought this on its own. I wouldn't have bought that on its own. That's uh, for sure. But to sweeten the deal, here's some... Accessories, so we've got these bits of licorice. Uh, they're very hard for um, weapon accessories, these are quite actually quite hard bits of plastic, so it's a bit weird. But, uh, I think other people have pointed out that it's you know not the same color as they were on the packaging. He's got his signature gun here, rifle. Got a sword of leadership. Undercats. Ho! Oh! That's what he says, isn't it? That's what he says, catchphrases. Uh, there's a bit of light for his matrix. We presume he's got a matrix. He's got, there's a picture of the matrix in there. And then there's just some of your 
we've seen these before, maybe in different colours. Well, we bought the Triceratops definitely in different colours. So we've got all these accessories now in random, lots of random different colours. So we want to give a get a big firefight going on. I'm sure we've got enough for all the different blasters that are involved. Um, well, yeah, he's got these things in black, so you can peg these on to the vehicle mode, in theory. It's kind of... Remind us how bad he is for the environment. Look at all that. Just oily tar that's just coming off the. <laughs> Don't smoke, kids. Um, yeah. This is a car, future car. So. Wheel spin. They're not painted. You know, because it didn't pay enough money for this to get painted wheels. Um, yes, yeah, so just that just kind of enhances the, the toyness of it. Luckily I can't see at this moment in time any chips on the on the chest piece. I don't know if that's a false chest or not. I've not really paid that atten much attention to his transformation. Which is going to come in handy right about now. Because he is a transformer and he does transform. So I like I like everything that's going on here in this car mode. I really do. It's a big, just a big beefier version of Hot Rod's car mode. Which is what it should be. It's like Hot Rod's car mode pretending to be. Springer. Uh, appropriate. Uh, all right. So yeah, I should imagine there's some transformation steps we have to take here. So first up, we will release these arms. Swings round. That's good. So I like that little detail. So that's like that. So you, you swing that round on a hinge to the. It's facing that way. And you bring all that round and all that clicks into place to uh, fill out the hand there. Like so, and then I'll repeat that on this side. Let's see, so we get the hand out of the way, flip that round, click that into place, and here we've got. Two arms hanging out there. There's his chest. Again, no chips. Let's see. I feel like that needs to come out, all right, okay. Feels like that flips round. 
Is this no this this back bit's not gonna to want to do anything, I don't think, so therefore I'll just try and form it into a backpack down here. We'll get these legs. I've seen bits of this guy's transformation. I remember that there's some bits that are really involved and kind of quite classy. So that's why that's another reason why I wanted to get him. Yeah, so his legs. Fold down. Does that mean these? Yeah, these tires push in. Pushing any further than that. It feels like I want to get that tire into that gap there. Doesn't feel like there is perhaps clearance for that well there is and then this bit folds back around so yeah let's get all this out of the way as I am always going to say this is not an instructional video this is more of a, um, if you like me and you feel you're com fairly competent tra turn in a, uh, transforming a transformer straight out of the box. It's kind of, without looking at instructions, uh, the hard panther style, as they say on the transformer show. This is more of kind of like, can it be done? From, you know, I'm not saying I'm the best transformer -er in the world, I'm saying I've got a bit of experience in this front because I've owned a lot of transformers in my time. So we're just trying to get this guy. Get photos loud. Right, so it feels almost like the arms are the wrong way around. I do feel that's a very hot rod animation kind of thing for him to spin his shoulders round. Which, so that's a good, in my book, that's a good attention to detail and kind of like the, um, the idea that there's a certain amount of, I don't like aesthetically to be slavish to the animations, but if you put me a nice animation homage into the transformation yeah that is very much cool and now it's just about a case of kind of lining these up these tabs to holes tadpoles we're just doing a bit of tadpoling. Yeah. So sometimes when these things are on double hinges, it's kind of just getting it into the right 
angle is what what we need to do. There you go, click, click. This is a bit, bit I've definitely seen is the, um, the tire thing, which I thought was genius. So the, the tire, there's a little hinge there so you can lift it up like a bin lid and then click it up so it just goes further into the shoulder. I think that's just a, a unique kind of I've never seen that before that's another reason why I thought I want to get this because he's starting to do things that I've never really seen before on a on a trans you know a transformer do so Despite me not particularly thinking price-wise for what you actually get. It's particularly worth it. It's just those little bits. Those little things he does to me. The gap and again in the tab in that window screen, and it's about getting these double hinges into the right position. The, the tap will go into the hole, the tap hole. Let's see. That is um, same done. So some bits from the side here that seem to have. Come loose. I'm not sure if they're supposed to. I'm not sure if they were tucked in before or they got tucked in during transformation. Or they're supposed to. Come out and tap into the sides. There we go. I think that's it. Do these arms extend? They're looking a bit short. Come on. Arise, Rodimus Prime. This bit, this tab, this tab, this tab goes into the windscreen and wants to pop out. I just think there might be a way to elongate those arms. I think that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much um, 
Rodimus Prime in his robot mode. That's, that's really cool, really cool. There's a backpack. It's not um, egregious. It's just a... Um, it's got a traditional V. I just love the head sculpts. I've seen people that have painted this up. Um, to the more the grey rather than the silver. And it does look better for an animated um, Rodimus. But I like this silver. He looks more haggard. He looks more, from what I remember, from the Transformers Marvel comics continuity, especially in the UK comics when yeah, you know, Rodimus had slightly kind of been holding on to the Matrix for too long. Uh, it's had too much of like Unicron still within it, and it was becoming increasingly haggard. Uh, yeah, so I really like that. I say he's been lucky and not really have any chips on his um, traditional chest decal. So he's painted really well. He's got double joints there at the elbow. A tab at the back. Doesn't want to stay in. It's like a... Yeah, I don't know if it's because it's painted, maybe. I think they've painted some of the red on the head there, so... When it gets to the back plate that isn't painted at all, there's just, there's just a noticeable little difference. But that's just nitpicking. Got a nice neck joint there. Um, shoulders move around. There's a bit of a butterfly going on. So. Yeah. Bicep swivel in the middle of that double joint. Is that triple jointed? That's triple jointed, that isn't it, Richard? Uh, there's a hinge at the wrist, as well as a rotation. You can move his back three fingers all together, like a mitten. And of course, has looks like his thumb is stable as a separately. Articulated. This is the end of the line, Galvatron Waggly Finger. Because, of course, he does. Of course, he does. There, got a waist um, rotation. Not really an ab crunch, but. He's got enough movement in his hips that you can pretend that's an ab crunch rather than a kick up. It's just the same movement regardless. You can move bits out of the way and do some splits. These thighs are really well painted. <laughs> One of those thighs. So yeah, that lifts up. There's a rotation here as well at the hip. A double joint at the knee, which will go further depending on which part of the, which hinge you use on there on the double joint. And of course, it's the Warper Cybertron, so he does have an ankle rocker, and there's some bit of toe movement there in these big old empty shoes. The palm of his hand is a five millimeter port, really, even with the moving fingers, so he can hold his sword really well. He does have a adjustable peg here, so you can uh, 
ring out a peg on it, should you wish. Slap it to his back. Like so. Uh, again, plenty of pegs on his um, gun as well. He's got this big old cumbersome super rifle. It's like using his wrist shoes, to be honest with you. That's just always a bit too silly and a bit too big. <laughs> Rodimus Prime's gun. Walk tell, carry a big gun. That's uh, that's the Rodimus Prime way. And then, I showed off before while we're transforming him. You can open it up. And he does have a matrix inside, which looks a lot like all the other matrixes we get. So that's cool. Size comparison time. So I think really... The, the only thing we really want to compare this size wise to me personally is the hot rod yeah that, they look great together um although it's kind of I wish the people who paint, I wish it had been the same people who painted them. Uh, so we could have got the same paint look on the thighs and maybe, they, you know, a bit of a blacker outline on this chest and a crisper Autobot logo. I think that would have been a little bit better, would have been a bit more cohesive uh, in terms of standing them next to each other. But. No, it works really well. It's, uh, younger and older. Uh, you want to compare to the standard Marvel 6-inch Legends figure. Here he is with a good old Shatterstar. And with yeah, Dreadnought, Dread Pirate, Zanzibar. If you want to see how it looks with a um, vintage G.I. Joe figure. And sort of the vintage, the Masters of the Universe classic. Yes, Fisto! And last but not least, Transformers Siege, starting that trilogy, Sideswipe, one of the last figures in the uh, last portion of the trilogy, Rodimus. So, this is how they started. This is kind of how they're ending, so. Yeah, it's all in all, it's been, I think. I think until the last, these last couple of, uh, maybe with this last wave of Kingdom was a bit of a, a stumbling block of all, of all, most of the figures in it were a, a bit of duffs. So hopefully there's one more wave to maybe redeem itself. But all in all, this War for Cybertron trilogy has been a real boon for Transformers. I mean, I'm looking at it now of the amount of official figures I've been buying is ridiculous. Uh, you know, and you would have told me this a couple of years ago that I would have been, you know, like you know, getting towards the end of 2021, and the majority of the figures that were probably going to be my figures of the year, you know. That's time yet, maybe. <laughs> Are all going to be, you know, it's going to be mostly going to be um, official releases. And I've been asking what you've been slipping in your coffee. But, no, it's true. <laughs> it's um, Hasbro have done some really excellent figures over the last three years. And I think they should be applauded for it. Um, Not too much, though, because, you know, obviously they're making a lot of money out of us by doing all this short order um, rarity marketing bullshit. But, yeah. 
I've spent more money and made worse investments buying third party figures uh, than I have on getting this guy. He might not be quite at that, you know, third party level of engineer, yeah. engineering materials fit and finish. But he's close. He's very close. He's got more paint on it than some third party figures do for this price. He's got so that size and this big juba juba. But yeah, I think they've done a really good job. And it's a large pill to swallow. But I do recommend him. So thanks for the guys who recommended it to me. Actually, um, pushed me over the edge to get in this because you know I, I, I am actually really liking it. So thank you, everyone else. Thanks for watching. As always, be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes, and because you deserve it, let's bump fish, shall we? Bisto, fisto.